Warning. The following program may contain foul fucking language, gory ass shit, or the occasional slow point because I can be a lazy fuck with editing. Viewer discretion is potentially advised, but also probably rejected. Greetings from the land of OP, I am Rob the OP Gamer, and I am bringing you episode 8, I think, of attempt number 2 of my Ultra Hardcore series. Aw, oh, yeah. In my Ultra Hardcore series, this is going to be an adventure mode where I am going to try to down every boss that I can find in Ultra Hardcore. Sweet. I'm a retard. Man, I'm going to tell you right now I'm a retard. Uh, last episode, I'm picking up right in the heels of last episode. Uh, this guy is awesome. He is totally managing our stuff for us. I love it. We made a golem. And now, in a second here, we are going to be making ourselves... I'm going to put the screwdriver away in my little tool pouch. Uh, why do I have... Oh, that's seared... That's where that went! Holy shit! Two episodes ago, I lost my seared bricks. I had no idea where they went. Oh, my God. Okay, so we are going to now make some infusion crafting of my armor. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I want armor so bad. Oh, I want it. I want it. We need... First, we need runic boots. We need to make boots of the Traveler. I need a feather and some cloth and some shit. I need to figure out where to get these really quick. And um, so yeah, I've got a fish already. So I need a feather. I've got a feather. I need runic cloth and I need two shards. What kind of shards? What does it matter what kind of shards did it say? Uh, boots. Air shards. Two air shards, two cloth, and some leather boots. And I've got the cloth in here already. So we're going to make two cloth. And we're going to make uh, two air shards. And by make, I mean get. There's two air shards. That's three air shards. I only need two of those guys. Uh, I'm going to put this away as well. I don't need this out here. And I'm going to put uh, this away because I don't need these. There we go. I was like, what am I putting away? Derp. So there's that and the fish. And I need a feather. I should have a feather. Feather! There's a feather. Doink! Nice, I got a feather. All right, let me go look up where to get those other aspects. That should be everything I need. In terms of items, anyway. Oh, leather boots. Right. I have leather, I believe. Uh, leather? Yes. Oh, shit. I only have two leather. I can cook these, I think, though. Let me just... Let me power furnace this. So I stop wasting so much fuel. Because I waste fuel all the time. Leather! I need to go kill some cows. I need to make a cow farm. That's what I need to do. Okay. There we go. There's some leather boots. And if we get over here, let's right-click this guy again. Uh, okay, got the, got the feather, got the fish, got the two air shards, got the two fabrics, and got the leather boots. I need 25 eye tear and 25 flight volatis. Let me go look that up. I'll be back, guys. Oh, my God, there's flight on clouds. I looked that up, and it was awesome. Can I actually punch these out, though? Nice! These have one apiece. So light and fluffy. Nice. So I'm going to punch the hell out of 25 of these guys. Three. I wonder if the pick would be faster. No, not really. All right, so I'm going to get 25 clouds. And I uh, need to figure out journey. And let me get some clouds and I'll be back. All right, so I'm cooking up my clouds. And it turns out the ender pearls have four apiece on them. Yeah, yeah. So I need four, eight, 12, 16, I think I needed to do those. So that should be pretty easy. Um, that can go there. Why did that do that? Weird ass, weird ass graphic glitches. Clouds are still cooking up. Uh, let's see. Just make sure that I needed 16. Oh, no, wait. It was 25, wasn't it? Yeah, 25. So I need 4, 8, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. We'll have to do an extra one. That'll be all right, though. We'll just cook up a few ender pearls. I do not lack for ender pearls thanks to my quarry and my mob farm. What are you doing, bro? Are you just sort of filling yourself up as you go? What's up, bro? Are you... Gollum? Hero? Is he derping? Are you derping? He's derping. Shoot! How I, how I are underp you. Yeah, he's derping. Hey! Go! Do not make me fire you! I wouldn't fire you, you're too good. Um, 
Yeah, that's cooked all that up. It's full, it's full. Okay, do your... Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he's trying to... I had him on the window there. That's weird. I'm gonna replace him, I guess. He should be able to see more than that. Did I? What the hell is going on with this? Well, he got a lot of arbor over there. I gotta sleep through this night. What the hell is he doing? I think he just can't see enough jars. I punched him, and he was able to put uh, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of um, the Tempest aspect up here. He was able to empty his jar. Uh, but he's still stuck, and I can't seem to make him go. I think that he can't reach these upper jars, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to take these jars down really quick and see if that sort of helps him along his way. I'm not really sure what the deal is with his... Maybe he can... Can you see now? I keep hitting him. I feel bad. It's like, do your work, bitch! Smack! Alright, that's still not working out. I'm gonna make some, uh, make him a uh, upgrade here really quick. See if I can get him a, a greater visual range. Uh, we need eight gold nuggets and a... Uh, water shard, I believe it is. So we'll put one of those away. And then we're going to make a water shard. I think that's what it said in the Thomicon. Uh, yes. Visual range of most columns allowing them to travel further afield to perform their tasks. So let's give him one of those. There we go. And all we do is we take this upgrade and we right click on him. Hey. Are you stuck? There he goes. Nice. He was stuck. He might not need that upgrade after all. I don't know. Now what are you doing? Do you need like a like a stepping stool? Oh Jesus. So he's having a hard time reaching the upper jars. That's his problem right now. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that. That's going to have to be a... Uh... Shit. Oh, my cloth! There we go. I need that cloth. So those are all empty. Now we need to cook up the... Yeah. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do for the time being is make him like a little... A little stepping thing here. Let's do this. Um, 6, 12, that'll be enough. And what I can do is I can give him just a few, like, ladders, I think. Like, if I do that, there we go. And then I can do, like, every other one or so. Actually, that's probably a good plan. That's going to trip me up trying to get in here, I think. But at least now he can reach... Now what are you doing? You fucking derpy-ass golem? Hey! What are you doing? Don't you make me make Essentia tubes. I'll do it. What is your problem? Oh my god, Gollum. What are you doing? Is your jar even empty? Is his jar empty? Alienist, travel, yeah, that's the travel aspect. We have it right there. Okay, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Come here. I'm going to totally reset you, uh, put you on the side there, and put you like that. And then we will do this. Let's get these out of here. And let's get the bell. That'll do it. Oh, 
God damn it! Gollum! I swear to Christ! Oh my God, you... What is his problem now? Oh, I'm raging so hard right now! Okay, you know what? Between this episode and next, guys, just so you know... Is that empty? That's empty. That's got alienness in it. That's got all I need for my boots, anyway. I'm firing this golem. Next episode, or between these episodes and next, I'm going to do this. Up here in Thaumaturgy, there is a... I'm going to learn how to make Essentia Tubes. I know how to make Essentia Tubes. Maybe it's an alchemy? There it is. Essentia Tubes. You'll discover several ways to transport Essentia, but none of them has proven useful for large-scale alchemical operations until now. You have unlocked the key to creating stable and relatively leak-free tubing. While mundane chemicals can be transported into glass, certain types of Essentia either dissolves or simply passes right through it. By wrapping the glass in iron and treating it with quicksilver, you have managed to protect it from even the most volatile types of Essentia. Gold fittings finish off the piping system, make it visually appealing. Uh, the tubes can be connected to all manner of alchemical devices through water jars and Alembics are their primary targets. Essentia flows through the tubes whenever something is connected to them that can accept it, like water jars. Jars containing different kinds of Essentia will only draw their kind of Essentia towards them. The tubes, however, can only draw and transport one kind of Essentia at a time. The highest drawing strength will take priority without the proper use of valves. It is quite easy for a network of tubes to get gummed up. The use of valves is essential. When you see glass being vented, gases being vented from a tube, it means different kinds of suction are interfering with each other. The color gives a clue as to the types of suction. The essential valves act much like a normal length of tubing, except it can be turned off by hand or a redstone signal. When this is done, the flow of essentia through it will be cut off. The essentia resonator is handy for troubleshooting your network. Oh, that sounds complicated as hell. That doesn't sound like it used to. I'll just figure out this golem. I have no idea what the hell to do with him or why he's even... Is there even anything in your jar, dude? There's nothing even in his jar. I'm just gonna have to figure out a different way to place this guy so that he doesn't get so fucking derped up. I don't know what his deal is, or why he's going crazy. Oh, now you're cooperating. You little suck-up. You knew you were about to get fired. That's what you knew. Shit. Alright, whatever. I'll figure this out at some point. Okay, so for... Um... I was doing boots, wasn't I? Fuck. Boots. Here we go. Boots of the Traveler. Uh, shards, cloth. So the boots go in the center. Not on my feet. I'm trying to shift click those onto my bar. Boots go here. And then we need air, air, fish, cloth, cloth, and feather. So we're going to go like that, and like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. And like that. And actually, I think I'm going to do this and put him over here. Wait, no, that's... That's good. I think that's good. Yeah, shard, shard. Cloth, cloth. No, I'm going to move this over here. Because the way that looks in here is that... Uh, this is directly across from here, and these are kind of adjacent. And then the fish is over here. Yeah, that looks good. So hopefully we don't see a lot of damage or anything. So we're gonna draw it's gonna draw out its aspects first. That looks so cool. I fucking love it. That's the air it's coming out of there, and there's the journey aspect coming out. Where does it put it? Does it suck it into itself? Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, just taking apart a shard. Taking apart another shard. Taking apart a cloth. Taking apart another cloth. And then taking apart a feather. And then, then the fish. You really should keep extra shit with you for the infusion crafting in case something goes horribly wrong, but I just don't tend to. <laughs> so there's boots! Nice boots. Now we can take the boots and we can combine them with uh, runic boots. So we have runic boots of the traveler, and we can do the same thing with our goggles with the go with the headpiece. But first, before we can do that, we need to actually make the actual armor itself. So I need to make some primal charms, which is made out of some salus mundus and some gold, and one of each type of shard. And it's going to be a lot of air, a lot of vis. 
So, but luckily I've got my two wand system going. This is guy's only missing a little bit, and I've got my secondary wand. So I'm gonna sleep this night, and I'm gonna start getting together everything I need. I've got most of it here. Here's the scribing tools, amber, nitor. Here's the cloth. I only need four cloth, I think, don't I? One cloth per. There's one. There's one. Nitor. I made the gold armor already. Yeah, one cloth a piece. One of these a piece. Let me get the stuff for that, and I'll be back. We need to get this stuff, and I need all the items I need for Tudaman, Percantio, and potentially I need to like cook that shit up. So first, let me figure out what the golem is. I'm gonna take a cut and figure out my golem. Then I'm gonna get the items I need, jars full of that shit, and I'll be back. Okay, so we need a lot of Potentia. Actually, we need a lot of a lot of shit, uh, but Potentia is one of them. So I'm gonna cook up a ton of coal, and that's not what I meant to do. You son of a bitch. Go in here. Thank you. So I put up some glass here, and I put up some of these cut glass pieces that hopefully will make him just kind of jump to where he needs to go. And it seems to kind of be working. He's able to, like, jump on this guy, and he can reach all nine of these, and then he can jump on this guy and reach all nine of these. I used the uh, glass, hollow glass covers, which is eight of these guys in a row. You cut up one of these, and it was thin as pieces, like I showed off already. I think maybe either this episode or previous episode. I don't remember at this point. <clears throat> and uh, then you put those in a circle, and you get... Hollow glass covers! And so that he can reach through it. And I don't know if that was actually necessary, because he might have reached through the cracks there, but who knows. He seems to be doing okay now. He still derps a little bit. I put this glass here so he could, like, not get stuck in there. So he seems to be doing okay now. See, look, he's derping a little bit, but he figured himself out after a few minutes. So I think we're doing okay. He should be good. My little, my little, my little golem minion. You, uh, you good golem minion? Maybe he's good. I'm kind of wondering if I should, like... Hang on, I'm going to do this. There. Does that help you out a little bit? How's that? You good now? Maybe. Oh, he's... Oh, he's... Oh, he's good. Right, I'm going to show you guys this just slice up really quick. So you just take one piece. Doink. Doink. And doink. And that gets you your eight of them. Then you take a crafting grid. It doesn't matter what crafting grid. And you just put them in a circle. Do 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 do, and you get eight hollow ones instead of eight regular ones. And if you decide that you want regular ones back, you can just straight craft it into another regular one. But I like the hollow ones for this purpose, because in my brain he needs help reaching through. He needs all the help he can get. He's like one of those hobos you see down at the corner um, of the street where they're like, you know, begging for coins. Except for this guy's more useful. <laughs> ah, terrible. I hope a hobo watches this and leaves a lot of rage in comments below. If you're a hobo and you find that super offensive, leave all your rage. I will totally watch it. Or read it. Or whatever. Words, 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 words. So we're cooking up all that um, aspect. How much Ignis? We got uh, 33 Ignis so far. And we got a full jar of Potentia almost. But we're going to need a lot more than that. Oh, that was a lot of Ignis. He started the second jar of Ignis. Nice. So you gonna start a second jar of potential for us? Uh, yep, down there. So, see, it went down there. I don't know why he puts things in weird places, but he's managing it. He's good. That totally works for him. So that's gonna be our little golem section back there. Uh, we need a lot of both aspects. We need 115 um, potentia and percantio, and we need 55 tutamen. Tutamen? Tutamen? I'm going to do the pants and the chest first because they are moderate instability, and I'm going to do the head and the chest last because they are minor. And that way if I lose something in the first two, I can just recraft it because I probably won't lose it in the second two. So I'm going to make these guys really quick. Uh, we're going to put our Salus Mundus here, and we're going to do one of these. And I don't know if there's a specific order to um, air, fire, water, earth, ordoper, perdito. Air, fire, water. There we go. This should be good. That'll get us the four primal charms. Oh, that's a lot of Vs. I hope I have enough. Oh, man. Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Yes, I had enough. Oh, my God. It's really empty now. Shit. I'm going to replace it with my offhand wand. Doink. Doink. And I can fill this bitch up later. <clears throat> wow, that was a lot of aspects. Shit. But we got them. We're, we're good. So I'm going to stick these guys in here for the moment. Um, that's all the shit that we're using for the armor right now. Uh, what else do we need? I think that's it. I think I got everything else. Amber I have, scribing tools I have, nitor I have, cloth I have. I'm pretty sure I've got everything item-wise I need. I just need to melt up some more of that shit. How are you coming with your... Oh, he's done. Sweet! Okay, so we should now have... There's a full jar, and there's almost a full jar. 
64 and 54 is a hundred and oh shit so 60 60 and 50 is a hundred and ten right up oh, there's 120 so 124 and we only need 115 so we're good and he's still emptying so we should have plenty there uh, now we need 115 per cantio and when I go per cantio I usually just go with a shard because well whatever um, it's not like my quarry isn't giving me plenty of these. I think I still have most of Earth shards. Yeah, we're good. Uh, one per cantio on each of these guys. Oh, that is terra bad. Um, what about you, bitches? Whoops. One, one. I wonder if there's something else with more perdito on it. One, uh, one. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me right now? All right, let's look up per cantio really quick. Cinder Pearl, Crucible, Transformation Powder, Shards, Great Wood and Silverwood Logs, Mossy Cobblestone, Nether Warts! Oh, I have Nether Wart. I have ass load. I have Nether Warts. I have Nether Warts out the ass, and that sounds like some sort of terrible, horrible disease. How many of these guys... One. Well, that's better than burning up my shards, because I have a farm of this shit. Uh, come here, Nether Warts. So we're going to just do this really quick. I haven't been keeping up on my farm as well as I should be, because I've got mostly enough resources for things, so I'm not as giving a fuck. Uh, but we need 115 of this stuff, and this has one each, so if we cook up two stacks, that should be 128. We should be good with that, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna go cook up two stacks and another wart. Nah, 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 nah. And then I have to find something with two men on it, which is armor. Probably armor, burb. Lol. Alright, guys, pro tip. If you have... I only need one of these. If you have um, Darkcraft installed, you can make yourself some Force Shears. Oh, Force Shears! And um, the reason why is because you can skin cows and they get pissed, let me tell you what. But uh, hey, that's kind of life. There should be some cows around here somewhere. I haven't murdered all of them yet. Just most of them. They're just mostly murdered. Um, cows? Moo? Me. So the reason I'm looking for cows, there's a cows, is because le cows have leather which has tutamen on it. Go figure. So I need to murder. Oh, he is pissed. Look at him. He's like, Rrr. egg. Um, one tutamen. Oh, he is pissed off. Whoa, cold cow. Oh, look at that. He came back really fast. Nice. So that's two leather now, and he is pissed off. Where's this other guy? Oh, you got a nice little woolen hat. You'll be fine from. The oh. Sour that popped off his hat. Did you see that? He has no hat. Oh, poor guy. Except I don't really feel that bad. So what's going to happen now is I am going to be working on skinning cows for a few minutes. Uh, one leather, one armor a piece, one tutamen. I'm going to try to get a stack of leather for this. Um, and then I'll meet you back in base. Cow pit! It's a pit of cows. Ha, oh, cow pit! Holy shit, there's a baby cow. When did that happen? That's kind of weird. So I went flying around and found cows, and oh my god, those fuckers are loud as shit. Damn. I had to make extra force shears because I dropped mine in the volcano. I was sour. I was just flying along. Oh wow, he turned that. What? <laughs> that volcano's half dirt! Ah, Andrew Corey, lol. Okay, so. Um. Yeah, I was flying overhead, and. Or no, it wasn't that volcano. It was this guy over here. I was flying overhead to this guy, and I was trying to find cows, and I accidentally pressed the button, and in went my shears, so I had to make some more. Kind of sour about that. Oh, well, who cares? But it took forever, I mean, like, ever, to find enough cows and to get leather, and right as I was finishing up scouting cows, I was like, why don't I just make a cow pit so that I have a cow pit? So I should have done that earlier. Oh, well, who cares? So now we have enough um, leather. I'm going to put some of it away, actually, and I'm going to just cook up this stack of leather. We'll throw those in here, because we don't need those for right now. And we're going to get over here, and we are going to cook up this leather. So now we should have everything we need as soon as this leather finishes cooking up. <clears throat> we'll have all the aspects and the jars, and we'll have all this stuff. So let's get ready to make some armor. <clears throat> Jesus. I want armor. I also want to know how to upgrade this. Improving runic armor has turned out to be easier than expected. You've discovered several aug augmentation that can only be applied to it, though only a single augmentation can be applied. Energetic runic armor with this upgrade will replenish its charge much quicker than normal. Augmented this upgrade increases the amount of charge a piece of runic armor has, so makes it like a bigger amount of runic shielding. Kinetic feedback when your shield is breached, this upgrade will release a detonation of kinetic energy. 
His damage and force of the detonation increases depending on how many pieces of armor have the upgrade. This ability has 30 second cooldown. Re revitalizing feedback. When your runic shield is breached, it will release a pulse of regenerative energy into its wearer that will last a few seconds. The strength of this effect increases for each piece of armor that with this upgrade, their effect has a 30 second cooldown. So it's a healing wave, which I'm not interested in too much because I have my healing spell from Mars Magica, so nuts to that. Harden, this upgrade doubles the amount of Moondane armor protection a piece of runic armor provides once its shielding has been breached. And energetic shielding, when the runic shield is breached, this upgrade will instantly add 8 or more charge speed amongst the armor pieces you are wearing. Charge speed? What the hell is charge speed? <coughs> Each runic armor piece with this upgrade adds 8 charge. This ability has a 2 minute cooldown. So I am interested in either... Replenishing quicker, um, or Moondane armor, because once the shield goes away, I'm going to need armor of some kind. So I'm thinking, if it doubles the amount of armor, how much does the charge have for each piece? That's I guess that's the first thing I should know. Um, let's see. This should tell us in here, shouldn't it? 8, uh, 24, 16, and 8. 8, 24, 16, 8, 56 runic charge. So if I were to say, if I were to say double the chest piece and the leg piece, no, <clears throat> armor, <clears throat> god damn it, maybe I should do a mix of them, maybe I could do like, uh, runic armor with this upgrade will replenish its charge much quicker, if I energetic like one piece, or two pieces, and augment a third piece, like let's say energize, the boots and the helmet, and augment the leg piece, and then we can harden the chest piece. Does that sound sort of? Let's check this out really quick. Actually, it's not like I don't have a cow farm that I can draw on for leather. Um, it says it's the functional equivalent of leather armor when it's just in its regular mundane armor state. Oh, I have just enough leather to try this. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, let's make a piece of leather armor, like so, and I can just melt this down, keep its aspects. That gave me one and a half armor. That's it? Are you shitting me? One and a half? So that would be three armor pips. That's kind of shitty. I'm a little un underwhelmed by that. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. I guess I have to decide what I want to do. Maybe I could just rely completely on the shield charge. Uh, double some of it, and then... Um I never scanned this bitch. Ah! All oh, right, magnet. Shift, le shift, right click to turn that bitch off. Then we're gonna scan this leather armor. Oh, scan! Can't believe I never scanned leather armor. And then we'll just oh, but you can't melt because he's still emptying other stuff. Okay, cool, whatever. No, it's got the same stuff in there, doesn't it? No, whatever. Who cares? So, <clears throat> basic. Oh, you know what? I need the leather pieces anyway to make these out of, don't I? No, it's made out of gold armor. It's weird that it's made out of gold armor, but gives you leather armor effect. That's kind of strange. I don't even know. So let's go with the chest piece first. Uh, primal charm. <clears throat> what else do I need for this? We are finally going to do this, bitch. Scribing tools, nitor, amber, cloth. So I'm just going to grab everything out of here. Scribing tool, scribing tool, scribing tool, and scribing tool. Armor, 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 armor. I'm going to burn that in a second. Uh, that guy, that guy, that guy, these guys, these guys. I'll need this in a few minutes anyway. Um, oh, I just threw my glass on the ground. That was weird. I was like, what did I just throw on the ground? Oh, shit. I am losing my fucking mind right now. Oh, I was putting something away. What was I putting away? Oh, this. Okay. Um, ha, 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 ha. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we can melt this. Sweet. Okay, so we are going to do the chest plate first, and I'm going to put this up here for a few minutes. And so it's going to be chest plate in the center, and then we're going to do uh, primal charm goes at the top every time. So we're going to stick a primal charm at the top, and amber goes to the right of the primal charm every time. Yeah, it looks like it. So we'll stick the amber to the right, which if we're looking at this, if it was top, it would go right there. And then we're going to, uh, what else have we got? Uh, cloth, scribing tools, and then nitor. So we're going to go, uh, where's the, 
Okay, cloth. Wait, that was over here, right? And then... Scribing tools over here. I think that's how that was. I'm gonna sleep this night, because it just got nighttime. Every time I switch this damn... Area mode. <laughs> Every time I switch this damn video, I'm like, okay, good to go. And then something weird happens. So fuck you, scribing tools. Um... Yeah, scribing to the left, amber to the right, cloth underneath, and three nitor. Amber to the right. That's right, right? Oh my god, so many fails. Um... Scribing to the left, amber to the right. Scribing to the left, amber to the Okay, cloth. And then we need three nitor, we're gonna go damn, bam, bam. Did I just say damn, bam, bam? That's like, bam, bam, pissed off. So this should be everything we need to get the uh, chest piece going. We should have plenty of... Oh, that's a shit ton of aspects. Damn. Uh, let's get Wanda back on here, and we are going to... Doop! Plez! Don't fuck up! Excuse me. I know I just filled you up and you're all happy, but Jesus. Okay, we gotta watch this like a hawk. Because if anything pops off, I'm gonna freak. Don't pop off! That's a weird thing to say. Okay. Go! Do your thing. That's a lot of aspects that's pulling out of here. Look at that Percantio going down. It's like 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. <clears throat> All of the aspects. I should probably open my ceiling in case something terrible happens. Oh, there goes the amber, and it took the primal charm already. There's the cloth. There's one of those guys. There's one of those guys. There's one of those guys. And there's one of those. Yes! Ah, oh, so good! Woo! Oh my god, runic chest piece. Wee! Sweet! Oh my god, okay, so. Oh, that makes me happy in the nerd pants, guys. Happy in the nerd pants. Let's do the, ch the feet next. Or not the feet, the legs. Uh, Primal Charm, Scribing, Amber, Cloth. Just like it's the exact same thing, um, except for the fact that it is... Uh, whoop. We don't want to wear those gold pants. Those are important. Let's go there. Basically the same thing, except that it's one less Nitor, it looks like. So we are going to put our Amber here. No, oh, not that. Not that! You fucking... Inventory, do what I tell you to. Oh my god, I swear to fuck. I'll choose your ass, piece of... Okay, um... I'm going to pop this down here, I think, because then we're going to put our Nitor. No, we'll put this uh, right there. you got to make this as, as, as close as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but as close as you can is always best. So let's see. Let's just double check. Uh, scribing, Primal, Amber Cloth, Nitor, Nitor. Scribing, Primal, Amber, Cloth, Nitor, Nitor. Okay, that should be good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind because I'm worried this is gonna fuck up horribly. Did it instantly s Oh my god, it destroyed the Amber! You son of a bitch! That is why you hang on to extra shit, guys. Right there. Um... Okay, where's the amber? Alright, if that's all that happens, I'll be happy. That's why we're doing the pants first, because bad shit can go bad. Okay, both the Nitor are still there, all that stuff is still there. Good thing it was the amber. <laughs> if we lose one of these primal charms, I can't exactly pop one of those back on the pedestal super fast. Oh, you shit! Good thing I was right there watching that. So it drew some extra aspects because the cloth wasn't there right away, so that's okay. Oh, ow. 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 Oh, he took some of it too. Wow, it affected the golem. Uh, heal spell. <laughs> no pain, no gain! Pants! Oh, man! So happy. Pants. Okay. So now we'll do the, um... We'll do the hat. 
Because these are minor instability. The chest piece was moderate, and the pants are moderate. That means they're the worst instability, which means that things can go terribly wrong. Minor things don't usually go wrong that much. So um, those pants were a little bit touchy, but that's okay. Um, scribing, primal, amber, and then one nitor, one cloth. And it's the same thing for the feet. So we really don't need to worry about it so much now. Let's get our primal charm here. And let's get our hat right there. And we'll get our... Okay, boots will be last. We'll put these over here for the moment. And we'll get an amber right there. And we'll get a scribing tools over here. And I'm going to put the... Hey! Uh, cloth and the nitor. Let's put a cloth here and the nitor here. That should be relatively handy, right? Let me actually look again. Ah! Do what I tell you, not what I don't want you to do. Uh, yeah. Scribing. Yeah, that looks good. Scribing primal amber. Scribing primal amber cloth. Okay, good. Doink! Go! Make me a hat. I want a hat! Or actually, I want tattoos for my face! I guess would be the more accurate thing to to say in this instance. <clears throat> I better check on my aspects after this. I don't I don't want to be less. If you don't have all the aspects you need when you do this, bad shit happens. Uh, it starts destroying the items, and there's gas and taint and flux and all that kind of terrible shit. So you just got to make sure that. Uh... Oh, that's good. Scrubbing tools! Hat! Nice! Oh my god, it's my face! Okay, so let's, um... Let's do feet now. But before we do feet, I need to just double check. Uh, we need at least 25, 25, and 10 of each of these. So let's, uh, let's put these on here really quick. And there's the scribing tools. And there's the feet, they go in the center. Not on my feet. Not on my actual feet. You fuckers. And then we need, um, shit, amber right here, and we need a cloth over here, and we need our nitor over here. That'll be good. And then, let's just double check. Um, we have way more than enough percantia, we have way more than, wait, 30, okay, we have way more than enough potentia, and two to min, 22, yeah, we should be good. I made sure to count a little over when I was actually counting how many of each of these I needed. We are getting really close to wrapping up on this video. Oh, man. It looks so awesome. Probably every person that ever uses Stormcraft says, I was like, it looks so fucking pretty. That's because it is so fucking pretty. There's a reason it looks pretty is because it actually is pretty. Man, I'm getting hungry as fuck, guys. I need to go get some food. I need to numb the shit out of something. I think my fiance left me something to eat, too. I worked my ass off last night, and I am sore as shit! So I don't want to cook. So my loving fiance is like, I'll leave you my leftovers for my dinner. Thanks, hon. <laughs> feet! Oh my god, feet! Now what we're going to do is we're going to fuse the boots, the feet, and the hat with the glasses. And I think I can close my roof now. You know what I might do? To hide that wire right there, I might move these drawbridges so they're this row and make them look like glass instead of like that, and then I can make these covers and hide the wire right in there. I can just go straight up there and go like that instead of all underneath my floor. I'm going to do that probably off camera. That will probably be a good thing to do. Um, well, yes, boots, stick, do, do, our fusion crafting, 25 and 25. Okay, cool. So we, whoa, really? Oh, the boots go in, okay, boots go in the center. Oh, wow, so if these don't... Uh, excuse me. Thank you. If, uh, if this goes terror bad, shit's gonna be bad. Horrible. Um, and a slime. And we need... I think it's a 25 of each. 25 per mutatio, 25 per cantio. How about for the glasses? 25, that's also 25 and 25. And it's the exact same. I'm gonna take my goggles off for the moment. 
And, um, actually, let's do the goggles first, so I can put those immediately on, because I want to be able to see what the hell's up. So we'll put those on there, and then I will grab... God, every time I shift-click, thinking it's going to go on my taskbar, it goes on a stupid fucking damn... Okay, 25 and 25. I'm going to cook up some more... Uh, what did I use for the... Oh, nether wart. I need 50 more of these fuckers. So I'm just going to cook up another stack of nether wart. Wow. I really need to keep up on my farm. I'm going to cook up another stack of nether wart and sleep this night. And I'm going to cook up some stuff with the other thing on it. i got to figure out what that is, and I'll be back. So apparently you can't turn these into a clear look. Like, I moved them all out, as you can see, and I was trying to figure out how I wanted to set that guy up. And then I went to make these look like one of these, and apparently you can't make it look like a clear object. I tried glass. Um, actually, let's try some thickened glass. That might... probably won't. Yeah. You can't make these guys look like clear objects, I guess. So you can only use the bricks. So I gotta figure out now if I want to make these all look like bricks, and have bricks out one. That'd look kind of weird, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'll do bricks all the way around the room so it all looks uniform, but then the insides look weird. I don't know what the hell to do. I'll have to figure that shit out. Uh, I'll figure that out off camera, but that's kind of the general idea of what I want to do with these. Anyway, let's make some stuff. My guy finally finished burning up everything. Um, copper ingots had the right aspect on them, so we're going to go with copper ingots. And uh, I burned up a good stack of those. Hopefully this isn't going to do too bad because this is moderate instability on both of these. Moderate and moderate. And hopefully it doesn't destroy my runic headpiece and feet piece because I only have extra slime balls. So, uh, I only have extra balls, guys. Only so many balls. Big balls. All the balls. I'm gonna go the balls to the wall. Uh, big old salty balls. I'm trying to think of ball jokes to throw at this, and I'm just not coming up with many. So, uh, apologies for failing. Where's my... Oh, God. <laughs> I thought I got destroyed for a sec- Oh, shit! Where did it- Oh, it took it! Oh, thank Christ! Oh, shit! I was so scared for a second! Oh, God. Um, let's put the feet in here next. That's gonna go there. And that's gonna go here. And then balls. Balls! 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 Okay, here's open. That scared the hell out of me when that pot. I look over and the podium's gone. I'm like, oh, what happened? Shit! And then my magnet picked it up. Just like that happened just there. Oh, I shit, I didn't mean to put those on. Where are they? Oh, fuck. Ah. God, that's gonna drain extra aspects until you get that shit put back on that podium, by the way. There we go. Now it takes them. Nice! Oh, so good. So now we have our runic boots of the Traveler and our runic goggles of revealing... V discount on that bad boy, apparently. Oh, it even keeps the V discount off the goggles. Nice! Oh, so happy! I'm gonna put this shit on now. Oh, man! So I have three and a half armor. whoop de fucking shit But as you can see, my hearts have altered into glowy runic hearts. Sweet! And I can jump with, like, Boots of the Traveler. And I can run like Boots of the Traveler. And I can see... Oh, I'm so happy. I can see aspects. Oh, so good! Oh, bouncy... Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, but it didn't take much off there. It just took out of my runic pool. Which instantly came back, apparently. Apparently you can take some fall damage from this stuff pretty good. Yeah, that didn't... That didn't... Let's let's jump way, way off the fucking roof. Ha! Ah! Nice. 7 out of 8. Oh, see, those came back really fast. Look at that. This said 7 out of 8 for a second, and this said 23 out of 8. This might have said 15 out of 16. Or this might have said 23 out of 24. This might have said 15 out of 16. I didn't catch it in time. But that came back really quick. Wow, that came back fast. So I just look like I'm wearing boots and my goggles. That kicks all the ass for... I'm so happy with this right now. I can't even tell you. Uh, three and a half hearts. Three and a half armor. So if, I'm, if I hardened all this, I would have what? Um... Seven armor, one, two, three, four, five, six. It'd be almost as good as iron, but not quite as good as iron, I guess. So I gotta decide if I want to enchant this shit to be iron, or if I want to enchant this shit to be, like, extra protective, because that might be good. But anyway, whatever the deal is, 
Uh, we are way over time on this episode, so I'm going to wrap this bitch up. Here's me for the screenshot for today, next to my infusion altar, wearing my shit, with my broken ass ceiling. Hope everybody had no pee time. Like, favorite, follow, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter, slash RobTheOPGamer for each one. Peace!